Welcome back. Ano pong babagay sa atin? At kung saan kayo comfortable? This is our final look for the day. Live up to my mother. Ah, yung ka. So, my name is Helen. For example, nandito ka na sa Germany and you want to work here. This is kind of, naka, or you're working here na already. Nakakatawa to because they will ask at the uh, beginning of the year, they will ask for your holiday break. My God, which is kind of difficult kasi um, patapos pa lang ang taon or beginning pa lang ng taon, they want to ask for your holiday na. Diba? Nakakaloka. Like, you have to plan this, you have to plan that, and so on. Itsasubmit mo yan sa kanila. So, that's um very, very, uh, na ano ko yan na, na uh, hindi siya sa akin maganda. Kasi, kaka-start pa lang ng year, and you have to think about, oh, kailan ako magbabakasyon, and so on. But, they really need that. So, ayun, that's why they want everything in order na. Um, Nag-decide ka ng tumira dito. Number one that you have to do is you have to register. Kailangan mo mag-register sa town hall or sa rat house nila. Okay? Failure of registration, it will cost you. Okay? Kasi kailangan nilang malaman kung saan ka nakatira. Is this your valid address and so on. And there are also some um, things that you have to pay. For example, yung frenzy, uh, yung TV, yung radio, you have to pay for that. Nothing is for free in Germany. Kailangan mong bayaran lahat yan. So now, uh, for example, now you're staying here, you're working here already. Um, of course, I, it's also the same in the Philippines. If you will start a work, you got to sign a contract. Kung laman ng kontrata mo, and so on. I mentioned already that um yung lunch break dito is only 30 minutes. So, nakakaloka. 30 minutes lang. Mabilis ang kainan po ito. Like, for us, when I was working in in the Philippines, oh my God, ang dami nating break. Like, 10.30, I think, um I will have my coffee break. Though I don't really drink coffee. Yung, ano, 3 in 1. And um 12 or 12.30, you will have your lunch break for an hour. And then, pag... 4 or 3.30, you you eat another ano, snack and then you'll have your dinner after. So, sa dito, you only have 30 minutes of work, uh, of break. And, uh, ang maganda lang dito, if you're, for example, um, you're allowed to work na, there are so many, ano, um, they are very flexible when it comes to time. For example, you're a mother of two, you're a mother of blah, blah, blah. They will give you, um, yung parang, ano, merong 4 hours lang per day, meron lang, um, I think, 12 to 15 hours a week. So, you can choose. Tapos, um, they will also consider, if you're a mother, they will give you, like, oh, kailan yung free time mo? When is the best time for you to work? Yeah? Because they, they, it's, um, how do you call that? Hindi na... Kasi pag, um, if you will not accept a mother, that's discrimination here in Germany. So you give her a chance to work, even if it's like three times a week and so on. Yeah? And um, so work then, here in Germany, so for example, you're only working until um, 4 o'clock for today. Pag saktong 4 o'clock yan, aalis na yan. Regardless na may, may inutos ka pa sa kanya. So, the good thing about working here in Germany is that everything po ay, um, meron kang insurance. You're paying for your crank and casa, even if you're working or not. Yung health insurance mo, you're paying for it if you're working, of course, and your employer. Meron kang pension na binabayaran din, just the same with the Philippines. And um, other stuff that you, you can pay. They're, you're also paying for your, if you lost your job, 
Yeah? And for religion. So, and um, Krankenpflege, pag tumanda ka at kailangan mo ng assistant, you're paying for that already. Okay? So, um, yung Krankenkasse system here is like PhilHealth na kailangan mong bayaran monthly if you're working sa, if you're legally working in the Philippines. Okay? So, here, but the healthcare system here is better than the Philippines. Kasi, um, you will not pay anything. Not unless hindi siya covered ng, ng health insurance, for example. So, um, every em uh, employees here should have this regular, um, or yung, anong tawag dyan? Not really regular. But, okay, we can call it regular. Gise, cliche, kranken kase, I think. Um, yeah, I think you call it that way. Parang ano siya yung, according to law. So you have to do that. Uh, there is a certain percentage that you're paying for it, and the other percentage your employer is paying for it. So um, ito po ay isang parang card, and um, para siyang um, ATM card din with your photo and so on. So every time I think three months yon that you um, pag may appointment ka sa doctor. And three months ago kang galing sa kanila, you have to give it to them kasi isiswipe nila yon, And um, para yun sa system nila. So that's almost for free. So pag nagkasakit ka, what I mean is for free is that when you're sick or, or, or you got sick, you don't have to pay anything. Like a single cent, you don't have to pay for anything. Kasi you're paying for it monthly naman. And that's the part of the Kranken Kase system. So, pag nagkasakit ka, you will not get bangkarote because you don't have money to pay. So, hindi mo, hindi mo iisipin, ano ipapambabayad ko dito? So, that's good thing about here in Germany. Okay? So, pag na-hospital ka, do not worry about payment kasi binayaran mo na yon and your kranken kase will take care of everything. If you're also sick, I think more than six six weeks, I'm not sure kasi hindi pa ako nagkasakit ng more than 6 weeks. Um, you will also receive money from your kranken kasi. I think 60% of your... I, I'm not sure if it's your neto or your bruto. So I'm not really sure kasi hindi pa ako nagkaroon ng ganyan na sistema. Okay? So um, you're paying for your kranken kasi. That's the health um, insurance. You're paying for um, pension. Rente, pwede siya kung krankenfliga yung pagtumanda ka na kailangan mo ng assistant um, or assistance if you need any assistance. Um, ano pa ba? You're also paying for your Arbeitslosengeld pag nawalan ka ng work, for example. For example, na-terminate ka, you will receive um, money from the government because you're you paid for it. Okay, but um, they will, of course, um, encourage you to look for, for work. So, while you're looking for work, um, binibigyan ka ng, ng gobyerno ng pera. So, that's, that's really very nice. Kasi, kailangan mo rin ng ano, it's just, you lost your job, and where, where will you get your money to pay for your, for apartment, for example? So, pag may interview ka din, you have to call them, and, um, they will provide you yung parang sa bus tickets, if it's, if it's far, ganyan, ganyan. So, we're still discussing about the things that you should know here in Germany. And uh, for example, um, you're staying here, there's also uh, tax classes. So, that really depends kung anong tax class ka. I think we also have that in the Philippines because I used to work and I also paid my taxes there. Um, depende po yan kung if you're married or not, uh, ilang sahod ng asawa mo or ng partner mo. So, that will vary there. So, I cannot discuss that kasi iba-iba naman po ang, ang situation natin. But I'm not sure if you're, for example, di ba yung mga nurses natin, um, they are 
married in the Philippines. I'm not sure if they can also get these incentives. Like, for example, my anak ka. Kasi pag may, pag may dependents ka, I know there is a certain, um, parang ano sayo, um, incentive. So, I think if you're, if you will work here and you're married and you have kids, I think you should ask first then kung paano yung sistema ng tax mo. If, di ba kasi may, hindi naman porket nagtrabaho ka sa Germany, wala ka ng, ano, dependents. I think you still have your, ano, your kids in, in the Philippines. I'm not so sure. So, you probably should ask your agency regarding that matter. I cannot answer that question. <laughs> So, so good th the good thing about um, working in Germany is that you can become a German citizen. Or if you married someone from Germany, you can become a German citizen. Madali lang po yun in comparison to Denmark. Um, so Germany, if you're single and you're working here, I think you have... If you stay here for eight years already and you've been working nonstop, then there is a chance for you to become a German citizen. Okay? But, meron din pong fina-follow na, na mga rules yon, So, we will discuss that later. And, um, if you want to, to come to Germany, there are many ways to come here. You can... You can work as a nurse. I myself is a nurse. And um, I'm a registered nurse in the Philippines. I finished my nursing practice or my nursing school in 2008. And I am I passed my board exam um, November of 2008. I took the exam on the 29th of um, November and, and 30th of November. And I passed the exam with... 80 percent um not really 80 percent 81 point something percent so but now i'm not working with with uh or i'm not practicing right now i'm not practicing the nursing profession anymore i am working with disigual i have been with them for almost three years now and, you know, I, I enjoyed my work. I am still enjoying. And, yeah, um, it's not that stressful. And I am working with, um, I have been working with Germans, different um, races, and so on. It's kind of hard because of the language. Because, of course, my first language is still Filipino. And then um, they don't speak English that much. And yeah, but with um, the SIGWAL, I communicate with my head office in English. So that is also okay. And yeah, so I have been with them for almost three years now. And of course, I would like to... Oh, it's raining, man. <laughs> and right now, I'm wearing a SIGWAL top. Diba para siyang nagliligal, naglalagablab? Para siyang naglalagablab? So, if you want to know more about the SIGWAL or the company that I am um, working with, you can go to uh, Uh I hope that you learned something today. I am not a professional... How do you call that? I cannot guarantee that I can answer all your questions. Um, ang mga sinabi ko lang po ay base sa aking karanasan. So, if you want to learn more about Germany, you can read um, articles about Germany. You can read um, a book about Germany, the history of Germany, the culture of the Germans, and so on. Hi, this is your Duchess of Pugao, and I would like to thank all of you for watching my videos. I hope that you have learned something today and enjoyed while watching it. This is your Duchess of Bugao, simply saying, Dankeschön, thank you very much, maraming salamat po, merci buko, auf Wiedersehen, goodbye, au revoir, 
and paalam. Thank you very much and mabuhay tayong lahat.